Hi, in this video I'll show you how to download and install the DCS interface for Stream Deck plugin. Uh, so starting out we're at the GitHub page here and if we scroll down we can go to the installation section. And as you can see here the DCS plugin requires this DCS export script software to be installed. Uh, this is the backend uh, Lua export script um, that is installed to DCS that allows communication between the Stream Deck plugin and the DCS game. Uh, so they have a detailed uh, wiki instruction here, but um, I'll just kind of quickly go through the install steps for this. Uh, so going to their GitHub page, we can click on the releases tab, and this will bring us to the uh, most recent release, version 1.2.1 at this time. So we can download the zip file for this software here. And opening uh, the zip, we'll see inside here there is a scripts folder. So this uh, is what should be added to the DCS saved games uh, scripts folder. So that's your saved games folder and DCS, or in my case, dcs.openbeta. And this file should have a scripts folder uh, if you have other things installed, such as Vicom or TacView. Uh, if there's no scripts folder, you can just create one. Um, and within here, uh, as I said, we, there's maybe may other things installed, so we don't want to just uh, copy over and replace this export.lua. What we'll do is we'll just uh, copy this include line um, and paste it into the existing export.lua and save it. Then back to the zip uh, folder. So now we can just copy the rest of this folder into the directory as well. And we can close this. So looking inside this DCS export script, they have a config file and a bunch of Lua scripts for the exports modules. So looking into the config.lua, we'll see there's a bunch of settings here. Uh, and the Icarus settings, uh, this is a software for displaying a virtual cockpit in a uh, monitor window. Um, however, if you only plan to use the Stream Deck uh, DCS interface plugin and not Icarus, the easiest way of setting this up is just changing this uh, Icarus port to 1725 and saving. Uh, 1725 is the default port uh, for the Stream Deck plugin we have here. Those. If you do uh, have Icarus and want to run both side by side, then uh, if you look in the installation instructions, there's a link here um, for instructions on enabling both of those, which is um, just as capable. Uh, also for additional details within the exports modules, you'll see here a bunch of Lua files for the different modules that are supported. So uh, right now, not every module is, is in here, but a large selection of them are. And if we open one of them, you can see they have all of the uh, gauges and clickable items exported, as well as do a lot of indicators and, and gauges they do uh, extraction of. So now that this first step is done, uh, we now need to just install the Stream Deck plugin. So if we go to the releases page, you'll see here there's a installer for the Stream Deck plugin. So we can download that. There's also a icon library uh, zip file that you can download if you like. And this just has a collection of icon images that you can use for Stream Deck profiles. Um, so once these are downloaded, you will need to actually move this um, out of the downloads folder just into somewhere where uh, it won't get deleted. So um, I've already created just a, a directory I can put this in. And so 
will move mine out of the downloads folder into here and then just uh, double click to install it. Click install. All right, and then once that's installed, you'll see the DCS interface plugin is now visible in the Stream Deck library. And this provides a selection of uh, different input types you can use for the individual buttons. So uh, let's drag one over as an example. Um, so when it's highlighted, you'll see uh, all the individual settings for uh, the DCS command, uh, which is sending commands to the DCS simulation. Um, image state change, which allows for changing the image state of the Stream Deck button, uh, and title text change, which allows for um, changing the title text in the button from changes in the game state. Uh, and so these show up when uh, the one of the DCS interface buttons is in focus. Uh, also in the bottom are three buttons for to open external windows. And so if we click on this one is the DCS comms. And this uh, provides settings for the communications uh, between the Stream Deck plugin and that DCS export script. Um, so as you'll see that 1725 default port, um, this is what the Stream Deck plugin listens to for updates from the game. And then the send port is, this is where the plugin will send commands to the DCS export script. So uh, you can change these if you like, um, just make sure to also update that config Lua file uh, for the DCS export script. And then down below here, this uh, is a section where you can test the connection to DCS um, as well as get kind of a debug printout of uh, last received values of, of different DCS ID uh, functions that you're monitoring. So uh, if you click refresh right now, you'll see that it says DCS module not detected. Uh, and that's because uh, DCS is not running currently. Um, but we can pull that up and see how that looks with a, a running mission. OK, so I've brought up a running mission of DCS in the background here. And if we click refresh, you'll still see that DCS module is not detected. That's because the mission hasn't started yet. Uh, but if we click fly or resume uh, and then do the refresh, you'll now see all the DCID, DCS ID values uh, that I see, and including some of the text values uh, for some of the items. If we go back to the Stream Deck window here, we'll see that we can also do the ID lookup. And the last thing that should be set is make sure the DSS world install directory is set correctly. Uh, click update um, if it isn't. So if you can't find your uh, installation directory, the select modules dropdown will be empty. So my installation is actually at DCS world open beta. And if I click update, then you'll see now the all the clickable items for each module. And the modules listed are um, those installed on your local machine. One other thing to note I found while actually going through this process myself was uh, for some reason I had some issues when I had the include here at the bottom of the export dot Lua. Um, but if I pasted that to the beginning of the um, export.lua script, uh, it seemed to run fine. So if you have issues with that, there may be some ordering um, that would help here.